Hello, it's Nick Hopwood and Jim Pilot with Peak Wealth Management. We want to help you retire with confidence. And today's chart of the day is bear market recoveries for the S&P 500. This chart shows the last 12 bear markets, the average de decline of 30% and the average recovery of 20 months to get back to where we started. Jim, let's take a couple uh, years to look at more carefully. Yeah, just to highlight a few years that um, may be familiar to a lot of people, if we go back into the uh, the 08, you know, actually we're living through 07 through 09, we see that the length of that bear market was 17 months. 56% decline, took us 49 months to recover. The one before that that's probably familiar to a lot of people is the, uh, the 2000, 2001, 2 uh, bear market, where the length of the bear market was 31 months. 49% decline, took us 56 months to recover. So those are two of the, the more notable ones because uh, of their his historical um, <laughs> proximity to where we are today. Um, also 87 was unique because it's a little bit of a quicker bear market. 34%, which is not far off of where we are here and had a 20 month recovery. The only other thing I wanna note on here is if you tend to look at the length of the bear market and the length of recovery, there, there appears to be a correlation between the length of the decline and the length of the recovery, right? All the way down to these last couple, the one that we're in here, which, you know, making a note has been the quickest bear market that we've ever seen in history. So Jim, what you're saying is we have a correlation between the speed of the drop mm -hmm. and the speed of the recovery. Yeah, it definitely appears that that is um, something that uh, presents itself on the chart. And it's definitely worth noting that this is the fastest drop Mm -hmm. to 30 some percent in history. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so I wanna also make an observation here that uh, the average bear market is not always in recession. And it appears that we will have a recession and it's, we wanna look at this saying the average bear market showed a drawdown of 37% worse than the average of 30%. Okay, now it also means a longer recovery of 30 months instead of 20 months. Now, what's worth noting is that this, right, this recession, I'm not going to say this time is different compared to other recessions, but it certainly has a different cause. Yeah. I just think it's worth noting. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully we'll have some correlation continuing between speed of decline and speed of recovery, uh, but we're not here making any, uh, <laughs> any crystal ball, <laughs> you know, right. recommendations. So we want to see you to and through retirement with Peak Wealth Management.